welcome back to my channel i am super excited to welcome you to my channel today especially if this is the first time you are tuning in okay you are highly welcome so we are asked to simplify this all right i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step approach and insights on what you can do anytime you see this type of question that will help you to arrive at the solution perfectly okay first of all i want you to note that anytime you see square root for example square root of x if you want to get whatever you have under this x what are you going to do you are going to square now whenever you square square root of x your square will remove your root sign and you'll have your x okay that is the idea we are going to bring into this now this is what i mean we have square root of whatever that is there. All the things we try to do is to manipulate everything here in order to get this as a square to cancel this and get whatever we got as a square to cancel this as well. Okay, as I'm solving it, I'll be telling you other insights. So the first thing I need to do now is I have 16 here and 64 is the same thing as 16 times 4. Why did I do that? We are going to see why. So we can say that 64 is equal to 16 multiplied by 4. Okay? Now, I did that because I'm seeing 16 here. Okay? So I want to bring uh, factorize that 16 out. See what I mean? So what we now have is square root of... Square root of 9 plus square root of 64 is 16 multiplied by 4 plus 16 multiplied by root 12 okay now this is equal to the square root of 9 plus the square root of now we have 16 here and here so we can factorize that out so we bring out 16 16 multiplied by 4 divided by 16, we are left with 4. Plus 16 multiplied by root 12 divided by 16, we are left with root 12. Okay, now another thing. Anytime you have this, that is the number you have is not in its simplest form. Try to reduce that number in its simplest form. It works most times. Now, root 12 is now in its simplest form. So, we are going to reduce it to its simplest form. Now, if you want to reduce 12 to its simplest form, the smallest number that can divide 12 is 2. So, we start with 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 2 can divide this as well. Even though 3 can divide it, but I will advise with 2 again. The smallest number that can divide it. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then 3 we divide to give us 1. Now, because this is square root of 12, square root means 2, right? Square, whenever you hear square root, you think, of, you think about 2. Whenever you hear cube root, you think about 3. So because it's 2, we are going to pair identical, num uh, identical numbers. So we have 2 and 2. They are identical. We pair them. So 2 times 2 is 4. We don't have any other identical again. So you can see that we can express root 12 as 4 times 3. Now, the essence of pairing identical numbers is that once you pair two numbers that are the same, when you multiply two numbers that are the same, you get a perfect square. You can see that we can take square root of 4 to get 2. Very important. You are going to see how it works. So we have 9 plus the square root of 16 bracket 4 plus square root of so i'll now write four times three four multiplied by three okay all right now this is equal to remember that sorry <laughs> you just manage it i'm trying to form a bracket now remember that square root of a multiplied by b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b okay so that means we can write this as square root of 9 plus square root of 
16 bracket 4 plus now this is same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 3 okay all right so this is equal to the square root of 9 plus the square root of 16 bracket 4 plus now root 4 is 2 so we have 2 root 3 now you can see that we have reduced root 12 to its simplest form okay all right now i want us to look at this at this point four can be written as three plus one i will explain why i will explain why okay so we can write this as the square root of nine plus the square root of 16 bracket 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3. Now, in this form of question, you always try to get this. These um, algebra identities, a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Or a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus b squared plus 2ab. Okay, sorry. A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. Okay, now the reason is if I'm able to put this in this form, I will be able to remove this root. Yes. Now, let's do it. You are going to understand. So I've looked at this and I'm seeing 2 times root 3 times 1 here. So if I can get root 3 squared and 1 squared here, then I'll form A plus B all squared. So what I'll do now is the square root of 9 plus the square root of 16 bracket. Now, 3 can be written as square root of 3 squared. And 1 can be written as 1 squared. Okay, plus 2 root 3 multiplied by 1. Because 2 root 3 multiplied by 1 is still 2 root 3. Okay, now... If we continue, we will say that this is equal to the square root of 9 plus the square root of 16 brackets. Now, you can see a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Our a is root 3, our b is 1, and here we have 2 times a times b which is same thing as a plus b squared, just like I explained. So we can now replace this with root 3 plus 1 squared for the whole of this. So bracket root 3 plus 1 squared. Now remember that square root of a, b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b. Now, if this is the first time you are coming across this lovely channel, Thank you so much for joining. It's time for you to hit that subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our videos. Yes, we upload our videos as often as possible, so turn in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch, and give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. All right? Thank you very much. So, at this point now, for right, this is square root of... 9 plus, then for here we are going to have square root of 16 multiplied by this one. Square root of root 3 plus 1 squared. Okay? So we have square root of 9 plus, root 16 is 4. Then we have, remember that your square, we always remove your root. So what we have here now is root 3 plus one okay all right so this is equal to the square root of nine plus four times root three is four root three plus four times one is four so this is equal to the square root of nine plus four is 13 plus four root three okay now look at this 
you can see that this is let me print this okay so we have this to be equal to the square root of 13 plus now 4 is 2 times 2 now i'm trying to manipulate this again to get a squared plus b squared uh, a plus b all squared so that i can cancel this root that is just the trick so i've looked at 4 and i know i can get 4 as 2 times 2 root 3 okay and i have square root of 13 plus 2 multiplied by now 2 is same thing as square root of 4 right yes 2 is same thing as square root of 4 then we have multiplied by root 3 so we have square root of 13 plus 2 root 4 multiplied by root 3 remember this rule is the same thing as root a b that is root 4 times 3 root 4 times 3 so this is equal to the square root of 13 plus 2 root 12. Now you will be like, why am I bringing root 12 here? If you look at 13, you can see that you can get 12 from 13. Okay? So this is equal to the square root of... Now 13 is 12 plus 1. So we write 12 plus 1. Then plus 2 root 12. Okay, so we have 12 is sent in as square root of 12 squared. 1 is sent in as 1 squared. We are forming that particular um, algebra identity again. Then plus 2 root 12 multiplied by 1. Remember that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So if you look at this closely, you will see that our a is root 12 and our b is 1. That means we can write this as square root of root 12 plus 1 or squared. Now you can see that your square will remove your roots and you are left with root 12 plus 1. We have simplified root 12 before and we got root 12 as um we got root 12 as 2 root 3 right this same thing as root 4 multiplied by root 3 plus 1 so this same thing as 2 root 3 plus 1 and this is the simplest version of this okay thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye